Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well at the start of this new academic year. I'm filming this video on the 30th of December because now the Department for Education and Ofqual have released the decisions uh, from the changes that they proposed for the 2022 exams. So that's relevant for GCSE, for AS level and the full A level. And in this video I just want to talk through these so that you're aware of what the end point is in May, June time 2022. Now, the first thing is that there's no big surprises. Um, I suppose the fact they've put this together does give you some reassurance that exams will go ahead. Now, there is a, con um, a, I suppose a contingency plan if schools were to start shutting again, but I really don't think that's going to happen. And I'm 99.9% .9 confident this year that your exams will be going ahead, which is good because it gives you a fair chance to show what you're actually capable of. But they have made some adjustments because of a few things that have happened over the last few years in terms of the interruption to your learning. Now, this document here, I'll link to it beneath the video if you want to read the whole thing. It's only about 12 pages long, so you could read it in about five minutes. But ultimately, your teachers at school will let you know well in advance about anything that you have to be doing. Now, there are some uh, summary of decisions here, but I'm just going to work through them um, from, the, I suppose, a bit more detailed information here. Now, the first thing to say is that in the sciences, you still have to know everything that's mentioned in the specification. So you still need to know about electric fields, potentially, if you're doing year 13 physics. You need to know about Suvat equations. You need to know about some of the nuclear physics. There's nothing which has been taken out of the course. And that's the same for the practical work. You still need to know about all of the practical work and some of the experiments which are mentioned in your exam board specification. The difference is that you don't actually need to do the experiments. So if you're doing GCSE physics or biology, chemistry, GCSE science, you don't actually have to do the practical work yourself. It's fine for you to watch a demonstration, a simulation or a video. And in actual fact, I do have videos that show all of the GCSE practical work that you could be assessed on. Now, you still need to know about the practical work. You need to know how to set things up. You need to know about the different sorts of variables, but you don't actually have to carry out the practical work yourself. And that's true not only for GCSE, but also AS level physics. Now, I'm hoping that if you're in year 12 and you're doing physics at the moment, you do get a chance to perhaps measure the young modulus of a wire. You get the chance to look at stationary waves on a string because these things really help you learn the physics and I suppose what that experiment actually shows. But you don't actually have to do the practical work yourself in year 12. You can watch a demo. However, if you're in year 13 now, then you do need to do some practical work to get the practical endorsement for your A-level certificate. What that means is that there are certain elements that you need to show you're able to do. And this is called the CPAC. So can you plan an experiment? Can you take accurate data? Can you analyse that data? Well, you can, but you do need to show that you've at least achieved the minimum requirement. So this means you don't have to do maybe 12 or 14 practicals over the two years. As long as you can show that you've achieved each of the, the categories on the CPAC at least once, that is good enough. But whatever you're doing, you still need to know about how the experiments are actually set up and what they show. So practical science work, you don't actually have to do all of the practicals, but you still need to know about them. The other thing um, it mentions here is about the advanced information, because although you need to know everything, there will be some advanced information about what might be coming up in your exams. So this might be certain topics that will definitely be assessed. And it says here that this advanced information that allows you to focus your revision and allows your teachers to focus in on certain parts of the course, it will all be released by the 7th of February at the very latest. Some of it might actually be released before that. Now, ultimately, for you to be good people, for you to be good scientists and for that knowledge to be useful in the next stage, it is really beneficial for you to be taught the entire course. If you're going to be doing A-level physics next year, it's really beneficial for you to have been taught all of GCSE physics because you're going to build on that knowledge as you go forward. But basically, I think this is really good. This means that rather than having to revise everything when it comes to your final exams, you can focus your revision on certain key topics. And that's going to be released by the 7th of February. Now, in your exams, 
there are some support materials to help you, especially if you're doing maths and you're doing physics. Now at A-level, you always get given an equation sheet um, which has everything basically written out so you don't have to remember all of the formulas. GCSE, in previous years, you actually had to remember a lot of equations, but you don't need to do that anymore. So they've made it easier if you're doing your GCSE science exams. Now, I do have these that I've made myself, so these are everything on one side of A5 paper. Um, but for anybody doing their GCSE, GCSE exams in 2022, you do not have to just memorise all of the equations. They will give you a formula sheet with everything that you need to know. And you'll, the exam boards will have these available for you to use in class. And also when it comes into the exam, there'll be a nice new clean one there. So you don't have to remember all the formula but you still need to understand them. And to be honest, if you're sitting in the exam and you cannot remember the formula, then it means you probably don't understand that bit of physics. So this is very much a guide for you to double check the actual equation that you're using rather than something that you can just leave to the last minute. So I would say it's still worth learning all of the equations. And if you want one of these, you can find these over on my website. So yeah, um, they're the main changes. To be honest, um, nothing there which um, is that surprising. Basically, you don't have to do all of the practical work. You will be told in advance about the things which are likely to come up in the exam and you'll be given all of the equations. Very sensible suggestions for the exams going forward in 2022. Now to help you prepare for that, uh, I've got loads of things over on my website. I've got, I think now, the biggest collection of GCSE and A-level physics videos in the universe. I'm also going to be doing a lot more stuff with uh, YouTube Shorts and on TikTok. So um, you can see up here, I'm now starting to release daily videos on TikTok. You can follow me there at Physics Online, where I'm working through both GCSE and A-level problems every day between now and the exams coming up next summer. So if you haven't really done so, have a look at them. It's only maybe a minute's worth of work a day and I'll just explain a little bit of physics that kind of just drip feed that information into you. So by the time you get to your exams, you're going to be as well prepared as you possibly can be. So what do you reckon to that? Um, do let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't know how they could have done it any other way, to be honest. I don't think there's an ideal solution. And if you'd like to find out more, about some of the changes to English, to maths and everything else, please do have a look at this document. And again, if you need any more specific help, please go and speak to your teachers. So thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, plenty more videos on my channel. Have a look around. Thank you.